If that is the case, give yourself a point at E. And I am not giving myself a point there because I don't want to cruise to the Galapagos Islands. Welcome back, everybody. On this week's edition of Sunday Sofa Time, I'm going to help you find the perfect cruise line. Hello! I'm so glad you're here again in front of the red sofa with me. This is one of the things that has become like one of the favorite things I do with my week. Sometimes it's stressful to get it done because I've got just so many other projects happening, but I can't imagine not doing it. If you're here, you are probably interested in cruising or you've been on cruises. Maybe, you know, maybe you already know what the perfect cruise line is for you, but this might be interesting for you anyway, so please play along. Because I'd like to see if uh, the result that you get fits to what you think your perfect cruise line is anyways. And if you're here because you really want to know the answer, what cruise line should you cruise on? Well then, all right, you've come to the right place. I like helping people plan their vacations. I like answering their questions because I really know how important it is when you're spending that much money I know how important it is to want to have like a good feeling before you leave, know that you've done everything you can to get the most out of what you're spending and to make sure that all uh, the plans are correct. At least that's how I am. And so when people write to me and say they need help like picking a hotel or they want to know how to use the subway or they want to know like which ship should they choose, this one or that one, I really enjoy helping people with that. People write to me to ask me which cruise line do I think they should take and I mean in the end it's a decision that you have to make but I can tell you what I think and then you can use that information to help you make the decision. I mean I guess basically what I'm saying is I don't want the responsibility if it goes wrong. Tangent. All right in order to do this quiz in order to find out which major cruise line I think is right for you and I, I've boiled it down to five cruise lines and I'm gonna tell you what they are at the end because we need some kind of surprise factor. But in order to do it, you are going to need a piece of paper or something to write on and something to write with. And I have a pen from Norwegian Cruise Lines. Uh, or Norwegian Cruise Line, not plural. There is only one. I would recommend really doing this on a piece of paper and not like on your phone. And now I've got 30 questions. So in order to start, get a pen and a paper and then uh, come back here. Ready? Good. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to write from top to bottom. I mean, you could do it this way as well, but we're gonna be writing like in this direction. So I'm gonna do it this way because this is sort of a smaller piece of paper. And you're gonna need to do make an A, a B, a C, a D, and an E. All right, so A, B, C, D, and E. Got it? Did it? Good. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions, these 30 questions, and, uh, and I'm gonna tell you then if like, depending on your answer, where you should put a point, right? So like, you put a point like here, 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 like by A, B, C, D, or E, and then eventually the points will like rack up going in this direction. And in the end, wherever you'll have like a graph here, and then you'll know which of these cruise lines I think is a better fit to you. So if you've got like a lot of you know points here and very little points here, that's the indication that you are a better fit for that cruise line. You know what I mean? Let's get started. The first question is, is your cruise budget no higher than $900 per person? If that is the case, then give yourself a point by A and B. If your cruise budget is no higher than $900 a person. All right, the next question is, is your cruise budget between $900 and $1,200 per person? If that is the case, give, your point, uh, give yourself a point or another point by A, B, and C. All right, so I'm gonna do that because that's about the budget that we have, A, B, and C. Good, next question, and by the way, I've got them all listed down here, so if you're wondering why my eyes keep flipping down there, it's because the questions aren't written down here. Uh, the next question is, is your cruise budget higher than $1,200 per person? If that is the case, then give yourself a point by A, B, C, D, and E. E, all right, so all the way down. Moving on. Next question is, will you be cruising alone? If that is the case, give yourself a point by B. Did it or did not do it? Good. 
Next question is, will you be cruising with sailors under the age of 18? So like, are you going to be bringing kids with you? If that is the case, give yourself a point by A, B, C, and D. I hope I'm not going too fast. You can always pause it, you know, and then give yourself the points, but maybe I should slow down a little bit. All right, next question is, are you and your crew between 21 and 31 years of age? If you are, give yourself a point by A, B, C, and D. A, B, C, and D. Next question, are you and your crew older than 31? If so, give yourself a point by A, B, C, D, and E. So I'm going to do that. So, wow, this is the only the second points I've gotten, isn't it? A, B, C, D, oops, shoot, D, and E. I gave myself an extra point by D. I have to remember that later. <laughs> All right, so uh, moving on. Um, coming to length of cruises. These... Um, the order of these questions really doesn't make a difference. In the end, it's going to be about what shows up here, all right? So the next question is, I, are you planning on cruising for a week or less? Do you want to take a short cruise? If you are interested in cruising for a week or less, then give yourself a point by A, B, C, and D, all right? Moving on, next question, are you planning on cruising for a week or longer? Like, are you interested in like a 10-day or maybe a 14-day cruise? If you are, give yourself a point by B, C, and E. That's what I'm doing now, B, C, and E. All right, moving on, where was I? <laughs> uh, next question is, uh, is this statement true? I'm going to be spending a lot of time in and around the pool and I like to like swim. If that is the case, give yourself a point by A, B, and E. A, B, and E. If you like to hang out at the pool and you like to really like swim. All right, the contrast to that question is the following statement. I rarely get in the pool. If that is true for you, then give yourself a point by C and D, which is what I'm going to do. And D. All right. Everybody with me so far? Now we're going to get to some destinations. Uh, the next question is, uh, it's another statement. So if this is true, give yourself a point. I want to cruise to the Bahamas or the Caribbean. If that is the case, give yourself a point by A, B, C, D, and E, by all of them. So I'm down with that. So... A, B, C, D, and E. Next destination question. I want to cruise to the Mediterranean or Europe or Greece or Italy, France, those kind of places. I mean, Greece, Italy, and France is the Mediterranean and Europe, but those places. If that is the case, give yourself another point by B, C, D, and E. All right, so Mediterranean or Europe, B, C, D, and E. Next question. I feel like a teacher here, or like I'm giving you a test. I want to cruise to Cuba. If that is true, give yourself a point by A, B, C, and E. Uh, so A, B, C, and E if you are interested in cruising to Cuba. A, B, C, and E. Um, where are we now? All right, next question. I want to cruise to a private island. If you want to cruise to a private island, give yourself a point at A, B, C, and D. Sounds good to me. A, B, C, and D. Have you guys been seeing uh, the videos and the pictures of uh, everything that's been finished now at uh, Perfect Day at Coco Key? I think, you know, the way you're supposed to pronounce C-A-Y when you're talking about an island is key. But they've made this new slogan, Perfect Day at Coco and now I think everybody's going to be saying it wrong. Everybody's going to say perfect day at Coco K, right? Nobody's going to say perfect day at Coco K. Anyways, I think that water park and that huge tower of water slides looks amazing. But uh, I definitely miss that sort of like exclusive island feeling because now it just seems like a water park. Hope to get back there soon.
Speaking of cruising destinations, moving on. The next question is, uh, I would like to do a transatlantic cruise. If that is the case, give yourself a point at B, C, D, and E. And you know what? I would like to do a transatlantic cruise again. Why not? B, C, D, and E. Transatlantic cruise, B, C, D, and E. Are you already noticing like a major tendency in your scores here? I am, but I'm not going to tell you where it is. All right, uh, moving on. Next place is, I want to cruise someplace really exotic like the Galapagos Islands. If that is the case, give yourself a point at E. And I am not giving myself a point there because I don't want to cruise to the Galapagos Islands. All right, uh, moving on to some like activity questions. Um, I need a full water park on my ship. And by water park, I'm not me. I don't mean like one water slide. I mean like several water slides and like splash area and things like that. If you need to have that on your cruise, then give yourself a point at A, B, and C. And yeah, I'm cool with a full water park, A, B, and C. Next question is the contrast to that question. And that is the statement, I don't care about water slides on my cruise. Don't want them, don't need them. Then give yourself a point at D and E. If you don't like water slides, point at D and E. Before we get to the next question, can you imagine what's coming here? Yes, you may or you may not see an ad happening at this moment right here. Did you see one? I don't know why some people do and some people don't. Actually, I do. Only the cool people see ads. So if you didn't see one, sorry. Now you know the truth. Next statement, I want to play poker, blackjack, or slot machines on my cruise. If you are one of those people, and I am, give yourself a point at A, B, C, and E. If you like to gamble on your cruise, A, B, C, and E. All right, moving on. Oh, I sounded very Minnesota there, didn't I? Moving on. Let's, let's go to the next question now. Huh? Let's move on. Care. Oh yeah, it's the contrast. I don't care about a casino on my cruise. If you really don't care about a casino or definitely don't want a casino on your cruise, then give yourself a point at D. Uh, next question. I want themed evenings with famous characters like Dr. Seuss, Avengers, Shrek, and Elsa and Anna from Frozen. If that is the case, if you want to have themed character evenings or breakfasts and events on your cruise, then give yourself a point at A, C, and D. Actually, I don't. I don't, I don't mind it, but I don't need it. But if you want that, characters on your cruise, A, C, and D. Next question. The contrast to that, I really don't care about characters on my cruise. If that is the case, give yourself a point at B and E. B and E. All right. Moving on. I don't have kids, but I don't mind being around kids on my cruise. If that is true for you, give yourself a point at A, B, C, and D. And I am going to do that. A, B, C, and D. Next question is the contrast to that. I would prefer spending most of my cruise just surrounded by adults. If that is the case, give yourself a point at E. And I'm not going to because I'm fine with kids. But you know what? Why not? I've never really been on a mostly adults cruise, to tell you the truth. But have you heard the new Virgin uh, cruise line uh, is going to be adults only? I made a video about that. If I think about it, it's linked in the description below. Next question is another statement that is either true or not true. And that is, I want to see well-known Broadway musicals on my cruise, like Cats or Rock of Ages or Mamma Mia. If that is the case, give yourself a point at B and C. And I definitely like that, so B and C. The next question is, um, I want to see shows on my cruise, but I don't, they, I don't have to know what they are in advance. Actually, let me read it how I wrote it because that makes more sense. I'm fine with other live shows, even if I've never heard of them before. If that is the case, give yourself a point by A, D, and E. A, D, and E, if you're fine seeing shows that are just original shows. Next show question is, I want to see a Cirque style show on my cruise. If that is the case, give yourself a point at B and E. And I like Cirque style shows, so I'm giving myself those points for sure. All right, we're getting close to the end. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six more. And these are also statements. So you need to listen to this statement and then also think, okay, is this true or not true? And they're a little bit more detailed. So listen carefully. 
The first statement is, I am totally fine wearing flip-flops, shorts, and a t-shirt all day long, and I don't mind if everybody else is dressed that way too. If that is the case, give yourself a point at A and B. Good, next statement, if this is true, uh, then you need to give yourself these points. And the statement is, I like getting dressed up occasionally, but I don't mind sitting next to people in shorts and a t-shirt in the restaurant at night. If that is the case, give yourself an A, a B, and a C. And I'm doing that too. A, B, and C. Next question is, I rarely wear shorts and I prefer a slightly more sophisticated look, especially after the sun goes down. So, if you're more of a dress-up kind of person, give yourself a C, D, and an E. And I am definitely not. By the way, the cat is eating her breakfast over here, so if you hear slurping in the background, it's the cat. Final three. My idea of a fun night out starts with a burger and a beer and ends with me passing out in bed at 3 a.m. If that's the case for you, give yourself an A. Next question or next statement. My idea of a fun night out starts with bruschetta and a glass of wine and ends with me dancing in neon colors on the pool deck. If that's the case, give yourself a B or a C. And I think I'm going to do that. B or C. Final statement. My idea of a fun night out starts with a five-course meal of French cuisine and ends with me sipping a martini at the ballet. If that's the case for you, give yourself an E. And, well, you know, why not? I could deal with that. All right, so these are, now I'm going to give you the, uh, the, the, like, solution so you know which cruise line is right for you. So you've got your A, your B, your C, your D, and your E. A. As far as the, the, the scheme of this all goes, A is Carnival Cruise Line. So write Carnival there. B is NCL, Norwegian Cruise Line. So write NCL there. C is Royal Caribbean. So write Royal or RCCL there. D is Disney. Surprise. And E is Celebrity. So, where do you have the most points? Wherever you ended up with the most points, that is going to be uh, a cruise line that you will feel comfortable on. That is uh, how I try to make this work out. So I, uh, as far as mine goes, let me focus. So can you see here, I am mostly NCL, then just slightly behind that, I'm Royal, which is absolutely the way it is in real life as well. Then uh, Carnival and Celebrity are pretty close to each other, although Celebrity may, might be a little bit further ahead than um, Carnival. And then in the end here is Disney. How did you do? If you are a cruiser, if you're already somebody who's, who's cruised a lot and you have sort of like your favorites, did I get it right? And if you have never cruised before and really have used this to sort of help you decide, then you're welcome. And now comes the time on Sunday Sofa Time where I comment on your comments live on air. In last week's Sunday Sofa Time, you and I talked about the debate of big ship versus little ship. Or wait, should I do it? Big ship versus little ship. And so these comments are related to that video. Mercedes Harris wants to know, will you be going on the Mardi Gras cruise through Carnival? If so, can you please give me a review? Hi, Mercedes. At the moment, I don't uh, have any cruises planned. <laughs> but that doesn't mean they won't be happening. I may, I may not. And if I do, I definitely will make a review of that. Boris Bialer Vlogs uh, writes, in my experience, the smaller ships definitely have better and more personalized service. Well, you know what? Cool. Uh, I mentioned in the video that I feel like I've never really noticed uh, a, a big difference between service on the bigger ships and the little ships. But uh, if you have noticed that difference and that's your preference, then go for it. And Jeanette Carpenter writes, I've been on big ships and small ships. I much prefer the small ships now that I'm older and disabled. It's much more relaxing on a, on a small ship. And, you know, that's something that, uh, yeah, that we didn't discuss, uh, which is definitely a factor for many people, I'm sure, and that is uh, if you have mobility issues, then a smaller ship is definitely the better 
uh, the better choice for you, uh, just, you know, as far as getting around and being able to get from A to B and to see everything. All right, this turned out to be a long video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for spending this part of your Sunday with me or whatever day of the week it is when you're watching this. You can come back on Friday to watch my next travel vlog from someplace around the world, and Sunday I will be here again in front of the red sofa for another fun travel-related sofa video. <gasps>